Hello, everybody. It's Chris. In this video, we're going to go over rectify some situations where, specifically for this video uh, that I have on my screen now, which is the layer four, ba four basic scaffolding. Scaffolding has now changed. You can no longer use it in Sublime Text. You have to use it 100% from the command line. Now, before we get started, you want to go ahead and make sure that you already have Jeffrey Wave Generators installed. You already have it in the aliases or actually the providers and you have a database database already set up so first off since we can't use it in the you know if we hit control shift p we used to be able to type generator i mean uh generate not generate but uh scaffold and we could actually run a scaffold from here we can't do that anymore so <clears throat> excuse me now we have to do everything through the command line so to do this we're simply going to say PHP artisan uh, generate scaffold and then we're going to give it what the resource is going to be so if we're going to do a blog we're just going to say post right next we want to define some fields for that post so fields equals and the first one we're going to use is we're going to use title so the title of the post which is going to be a type string Next, we're going to have a body, we'll just type text, and then we'll just use a user ID since, you know, we're not going to make a full blog, but user ID, and that is going to be type integer. Okay, close out your quotation marks and press enter. Next, it's going to go through a series of questions. First, it's going to ask you, do you want to create a post model? Sure. Do you want me to create views for this post resource? Why not? Do you want me to create a post controller controller? Yes. Do you want me to create a create posts table migration? Sure. And it's going to take a few minutes while it optimizes that migration. And then it's going to continue to ask you other questions. Would you like a posts table cedar? Nah. Do you want to go ahead and migrate the database? Sure. And we are done. Now, if we minimize this and go in here and look at our models, we have a post model. Yep, there it is. It's right there. And views. Here we go to posts. Yep, they're there. What about our controller? Uh, let's go see. Yep, there it is. And everything is filled out for us. How nice. And if we go to routes, it did not give us our post route. So, normally we just has to say route resource and we'll just say post and post controller and then you should be good to go and that's all there is the scaffolding now there's no more using it in Sublime Text, and you have to use it through the command line. But it's just as easy. All you have to do is simply, you know, answer questions, and it'll still do everything for you. The only thing it won't give you is it won't give you the boilerplate views. Like, it'll give you the views, like, you know, here, but it will not. So if I go to, let's see if I go to Chris. Let's see, Chris.dev. I think we'll use that. Chris.dev, maybe? So let's see posts here. What was it? Post. There it was. So post. So here's the index view. If we go to create, it should go to create blade. If we go to edit, it should go to edit. It's not going to go to edit because we don't have an edit. Let's see if we do edit one. Nope. So it's not going to go to that because we don't have any. But you see what I'm saying? Um, it doesn't have any of the forms filled out like the old scaffolding did. So you have to create your own forms and own pages now. So that's scaffolding 2014 style. Uh, I will return soon with other videos. Actually, let me go ahead and explain at the end of this video since we're done with talking about scaffolding. I have been picked up by a publishing company to create a video educational series. Uh, they emailed me back in February to start 
creating a video educational series and we've gone through the contract process and now it's writing scripts and shooting videos so that's where I'm at right now I'm still around I'm still involved with Tuts Bus though I'm not creating a lot of videos because I have the actual publishing part that I'm actually doing from the publishing company but I'm still here I'm still gonna be creating videos for Laravel and bootstrap and tons of other things but for right now it's just on a kind of low-key because I'm actually involved in something else but I will be back and I thank you all for watching my videos and supporting Touch Bus and I will see you soon